Hey guys, this is Guy here. In one of my very popular playlists on this channel, I showed you the installation of my network rack for my home network. And this is the patch panel I used in that installation. I actually have two of them. One of them is still there. And this is the one I'm going to replace. It's very simple. It has 24 RJ45 port that allows you to punch in wires one by one to connect the port. It's good, it works, and I still have one of them, just like I said. If you don't have to move your cables a lot, if it's gonna stay there static for a long time and you don't have to mess with it a lot, this works just fine. And it's actually less expensive than the other solution I'm gonna show you right now. So I am going to replace this with another one that is right here. This is what I just received. It was just uh, delivered to me. And this is different from that because you have these empty spaces where you can put any kind of connector that you want. Like you can see in this first one, I put a CAT6 or RJ45. I also have a CAT6 here and there, but you can put anything. It can be HDMI, it can be any kind of connectors that you have. You can put it here. It gives you more flexibility, more options, and more scalability. You can move cables around very easily and make them look good. So I bought this one and I've had one actually on my rack. If you see back here, the one that you see there is the exact same model or type of patch panel. So this is going to be used in my home rack because I have four cables here at the beginning going to my lab. I have these two going to my 40 gate. And then I have a couple of black ones here to my uh, some of my rooms in the house. And I like to play with colors. Like the blue will be for the 40 gate, the red will be for the lab. And this is good because you use keystones to pick the type of connector that you want. Like here, I have some keystones for RJ45. I can have keystones for HDMI, keystones for anything. There are many, many types of keystones that you can buy. In my case, I'm going to use RJ, uh, RJ45, a Cat6 pretty much everywhere. And for the spaces that are staying empty, you can use these blank keystone to fill those spaces. So that's what I'm going to use in my home network. I took down the old one already. It's a little more expensive, just like I said, because you need to buy this thing first, and then you need to buy the keystones that you need. Um, it might be maybe twice or double the price of the single or the simple patch panel that I had before. So depending on what you need, you can go for either or. Uh, me, this one works for me on that one on the top of the rack uh, patch panel because I don't do a lot of manipulations there. But for the one below, I had to do some changes for the APs, the lab and all kinds of stuff. That's why this second one is my go-to option. I had to install this in my rack. It doesn't take much, as you can see. It was really simple to install and I think it looks good. It looks clean. I'm happy with the result. And if I have to do some more manipulations here, I will just come and change the cables. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, make sure you like it on YouTube and you subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any of my future projects. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.